Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Liam Sheedy. A fired green machine can turn the tables. It was about time you had enough space to give proper credit to a provincial finals win. We won back-to-back -back Munster titles in 2008 and 2009, and the latter was very special in a Thurls final, and it was the club's 125th anniversary. I remember Lara Corbett approaching me afterwards and asking if he and the Thurls group could go down to Park Avenue and see Larry Mackey to celebrate the occasion. And they did, they came a long way down from the All-Ireland semi-finals, so celebrating was an integral part. A downside to current schedules is that you hardly get an opportunity to recognize your achievements. Players have the highest regard for a provincial medal, and we have been bitterly disappointed that we failed to finish in the two finals we reached during my second stint at TIP. This weekend, all the players involved in the Munster and Leinster playoffs will be given a place in the folklore of those snag great competitions. Limerick will hold on to the Mick Mackey Cup for his life, but momentum will be a prize almost as important as silver medals. A place in the All-Ireland semi-finals is an important carrot, a chance to time your run and only two more peaks before you reach your summit. First up is the much-anticipated rematch between bitter rivals on Sunday. The ferocity of almost every game in Munster was a revelation. Coupled with the tight margins, the spectacle was epic. When these teams met in round two, Clare suffered from a first-round loss. The Tusk Gaelic rounds was buzzing with over 30,000 spectators, and they were invited to a fast-paced competition. I was on the radio with Marty, and although we had technical challenges early on, the challenges on either side on the field were in T comparable. Claire also planned to take on the man. They have incredible speed with players like Taylor, O'Donnell, Fitzgerald and Kelly, and when they put on the burners, they left Limerick to admire their cleats. It was a drastic turn to league play in February when Limerick